Hello everyone, this is Blanca Rangel, your tutor for Physics 2420. Right now I'm going to help you solve problem 1.59 of the book Night. So let's do that. So let's read the problem. Write a short description of a real object for which the figure to the left will be a realistic position versus time graph. So these position versus time graphs are telling you where the object is um, compared to the origin and how it's moving in time. So let's make a drawing of what's going on. Zero is our origin. So I have a three. I like to put the three as an origin in a straight line. So in the first 10 seconds, you're going to move 10 meters. At the beginning, you are zero meters and time equals to zero seconds. Now, you're going to be 10 meters away from the tree, and the time, if you record the time, you see the time, it's going to be 10 seconds afterwards. Afterwards, you go into 40 meters, and you make it in 20 seconds. So now you're at the 40 mark, you record the time again, it's 20 seconds. And afterwards, um, the object decides to rest, so it's going to rest at that position, 40 meters. And you're going to remain there for the next 10 seconds. Okay. So in order for us to understand exactly what a realistic position, a uh, realistic object that's going through this motion, we need to understand how the motion is going. So we don't know if it went um, slow or fast between these two, but we do know the positions and we know the times. So uh, when you think about how an object moves, we think about displacement or we think about speed, how an object moves. So if you think of a car moving, you think of miles per hour. And miles are units of position an hour is a unit of time, and we know this as velocity or speed. So now we have this that velocity equals position courses over time. A little bit more specific for us to know this is going to be the change in position over the change in time. So that's going to be position final minus position initial over time final minus time initial. Have we seen this equation before? Yes. If you think about it, this is the same equation as a slope. So this is my slope of a graph and since we have instead of y and y and x we're going to have y and t x and t so in order for us to understand the movement of this position for stangras we need to get the slope So velocity, meters per second, time in seconds, we're going to have 0, 10, 20, 30 seconds. I like to do this. This is 10, this is 20. So now let's get the slope on these two points. We're going to choose two points. We're going to choose the origin and 10, 10. So let's get the velocity. So the velocity is 10 over minus 0 over 10 minus 0. We have 10 over 10. So we have one meter per second. So at the one, 
V are going to have the velocity to be 1 meter per second. Now my question for you here is, is it going to be a slope or is it going to be a horizontal line? Right, it's going to be a horizontal line. Why? Because the velocity at all of this motion is really not going to change. It's going to remain the same, the same velocity. So we keep it at, at this, this, this slope is the same, so the velocity remains the same. Now if you notice, why didn't it show the 20? In this case, it's because the slope of the 10 seconds versus 10 to 20 seconds is not the same. So I cannot take the slope of these two. So let's take the slope of from 10 to 20 seconds. So we are at 40. The initial, the final position is 40. The initial position is 10 over 20 seconds minus 10 seconds. So this is 30 over 10. So this is 3 meters per second. So we're going to have 3. And I'm going to put it like this. Perfect. So at the end, we're going to see that it remains constant. So my best guess is that position that the velocity is going to be zero, but we can always double check. So we're going to see that it's a 40 initially and finally over 30 seconds minus 20 seconds. So we have zero over 10. So we have zero meters per second. So it just means like this. 30. Mm -hmm. So why did I did this? I did this because I want to know how my object is moving. I know it moved from zero to 10 meters and to 10 meters to 40 meters, but I don't know how I did. So now I know it did by moving in this velocity. 1 meters per second from 0 to 10. And over here, I did equals <clears throat> 3 meters per second. Mm -hmm. So overall, and here, velocity is 0. So let's think about a situation where the object, we have an object that's moving to the right. And we have an object that is moving in one meters per second. If you think about it, um, a regular track and field race, you can move. If a person sprints at mass velocity, uh, usually a track and field track and field race of a hundred meter dash, they usually complete it in ten to. 12 seconds. So that will be a speed of 10 meters per second. About. That's if you're running. So you could choose this as this could, these are reasonable speeds for us to run or walk for a human being. So here, uh, my description will be myself walking so if I want to redact this is that Blanca walks from the tree Blanca walks from the tree to to the water, to the water fund, from the tree to the water fund. Mm -hmm. Then she sees an ice cream car.
So she decides to jog a little bit so she can catch the ice cream car. And that's it. That's a real situation where this is happening. So if you have any more questions, uh, you can always email me or contact me through, Michael, through Microsoft Teams. And this is my email. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.